News 3 Sports with Adam Winkler. Old Dominion University's baseball team is enjoying one of its best seasons in years. And folks, the Monarchs can flat out swing the bat. ODU has hit 54 home runs in just 30 games this season. Entering today, those 54 long balls tied for the most by any of the 284 Division I teams in the country. But the last two weeks, the Monarchs have been heavy hitters with heavy hearts. Baseball is a game of failure. Most players spend more time here, the bench, than here, the bases. That's because even the most successful hitters make it out some 70% of the time. So a head coach is part manager, part psychologist, picking up his players if they're down. For Old Dominion University baseball, it's a changeup. The opposite is taking place this season. We knew Coach Femmel was hurting, so as a team, we just tried to be there for him. On April 1st, Annette Finwood, head coach Chris Finwood's wife, his partner of 27 years, passed away from pancreatic cancer. The guys have just been amazing. Them reaching out to me and my family, my kids, uh, and doing some of those things, is, it means the world to me. As they feel for their head coach, they play for him and win for him too. The Monarchs rattled off seven straight victories following Annette's passing. If anything, we just wanted to give it all out on the field. Uh, he loves being out here. He loves watching us play. He's worked just as hard as us out here. It was a big part of uh, her life. Uh, for a long time, you know, watching the guys out here. This week, ODU earns its highest national ranking in 15 years, coming in as the number 22 team in the country. And many around the program catch on to the timing of this feat, as the rankings are released one day after Mrs. Finwood's birthday. Former players have said that, former players' parents have said that, um, and it makes you feel good about all of it. With the timing and everything, uh, it's lining up pretty well. Of course, we wouldn't want this whole story to be a thing, but he knows we're here for him and uh, we're gonna make a run for him this year. And that run and these wins cannot make up for Coach Finwood's tragic loss, but it will certainly provide a pick-me-up, a basis of baseball. Kurt Bev, you notice I'm wearing a purple tie tonight. Purple is the color of those who are battling pancreatic cancer and there's been a lot of purple on college baseball diamonds. Teams around the country, including some of those playing ODU, have worn everything from purple shoelaces to purple wristbands to purple socks as a show of support for Annette Finwood. Wow. Wow, that's gotta make the coach feel good. Absolutely, a lot well, of support out there. And just how the team is, you know, taking this tragedy and turning it into fuel. And all they said, they, they wanna make him smile and by going out and winning a bunch of games and playing ball the right way, he's doing just that. All right. Thanks a lot, Wing. Thanks, Wing.